Hey everyone, The Pink Mac here, and I just have a short little how-to video for you on a quick and very easy way to change the colors in an image or an icon or a picture, something that, um, let's say you have a background, for instance, remember that pink background that I made from the blue one in a previous video? Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you can quickly and easily, if you have Photoshop or any other similar um, photo editing software like GIMP or GIMP Shop, this can also be used for that too. It's just, you know, slightly different, uh, things are in slightly different places. So let me show you real quick. I'm just going to open up this watery blue background with Photoshop. And so you can see it here. Um, and it's blue and I don't want it to be blue I want it to be another color so I'm going to do go to layer new adjustment layer and then hue saturation so then you know it gives a name I'm not going to change it just because I'm showing you and hit okay okay so here you see hue and it's changing the color of the background to anything you want. I remember I had something like maybe like that color. And then you can also change the saturation of the color if you want it to be really dark or if you want it to be really light. I'm just going to leave it in zero. And then also lightness. You could make it darker or lighter depending on what you wanted. Um, obviously each individual project will be um, you know a different configuration based on what you're looking for but basically that's the best way easiest way a really quick way to change your background um, so in case you didn't know how to do that you can do the same thing in GIMP I think there's also a hue saturation adjustment that you can do very similar um, uh, to Photoshop so you don't have to have Photoshop in order to change things. You can use a free, um, you know, you can use free software to do it as well. So I hope that was helpful um, to you guys. I know it's you know kind of saved me a lot of times because I really like having the option of changing colors of backgrounds or icons or really anything. You know, a lot of times I'll see a background and. I'll like the design but I won't like the colors in it and so I'll just switch the colors up to something that I like better. So I hope you found this useful. Um, please subscribe to my channel Miss Trenchcoat and rate and comment on my videos. Also reminder you can uh, instant message me any questions or comments uh, tech related to my new uh, screen name the pink mac blog so yeah i look forward to hearing from you guys and please feel free to give me suggestions for videos or questions or problems that you're having tech wise and let me try to get videos out for you um, on how to solve those problems okay everybody i'll see you later bye